What is going on guys? Welcome to Greggles TV Daily. Let's get into the tech news. First story of the day is new iPhones were announced yesterday along with a new iPad. The iPad is like 329 bucks. It's their new budget tablet. Looks quite similar to the last one and just basically has some better specs in it. The iPhone's kind of the same thing. Um, on the front, they look the same. On the back, they look different with the different cameras. They also have new colors. If you get the regular iPhone 11, the Pro models, um, uh, are the price exactly the same as last year's models and they're basically the same phone except for better cameras slightly faster processors which you won't even uh, notice and that's pretty much it Evan Blast put out a tweet of a promo photo. Looks like coming from a glass manufacturer of the new Pixel 4 phone and from this image it shows off Tuesday October 15th and that possibly and probably is the day of the launch of the new Pixel 4 and Pixel 4 XL. It seems so far away, it's crazy how far it seems away in terms of like, it's so late in the year. Most people, almost all the flagship phones are out by then. This is literally one of the last flagships that will be released of 2019. But yeah, October 15th is looking like the launch date and then you would assume a week or two after that is when it would actually be released. So you're probably looking at October 29th, I would guess. They usually do these two weeks later as the actual uh, release date for the phone. What do you guys think? And lastly, if you're still in the market to buy a Note 10, Note 10 Plus, and you live near a Microsoft store, they have some really good trade-in offers happening right now. Now, some of these trade-in offers are actually higher than Samsung's own trade-in offers. Again, you have to do this at a Samsung, uh, at a Microsoft store, I should say. And when you do it, they're actually gonna take the phone right there from you and they'll value it right there for you so you don't have to be like, oh, is it gonna make the grade or not? And as you can see right here, Galaxy S10s are going for as high as $650 here in America, as are the Note 9s, as are the Google Pixel 3s, as are the iPhone 10. So you can get some really, really good trade-in offers here. It looks like they're about $50 more than what you can get with um, uh, Samsung directly through their site. There you guys go. That is your tech news for the day. Question of the day is, did you trade in your phone when you bought your new phone? in terms of like, did you trade it in to get more money or did you just upgrade because you're doing a yearly upgrade or did you just buy it outright? Let me know in the comments down below. I kind of, I was gonna do a trade in but I think I'm gonna save that phone for a different trade in probably so I kept it so I bought my phone outright. What did you guys do? Thanks for watching, see you guys down the road. Peace.